what you're not hearing on the news, and it's only coming across in little tiny snippets, is our northern border in New York and Maine is also being overrun with illegal immigrants. And the thing is, people are incredibly desperate, and we all know what happens when people are desperate. They'll do just about anything to accomplish their goals, said Favreau, who's a police chief up around uh, New York. <clears throat> okay, illegal immigrants are coming across in Canadian and New York winters. Nobody migrates in that kind of weather. You just don't do it. You're unless, going to die. Unless you're being ordered to do it. Unless, or, you, or, or you're or you being paid. told that you're going to be just fine or you're going to be paid, uh -huh. et cetera, which means this is a paid and assisted and sponsored operation. Nobody migrates in that kind of weather. Look, I spent <clears> a year on the DMZ, two of that, uh, two winters on the DMZ in Korea, there were days where I literally thought in Chorwon sector, I thought I was going to die. That's yep. where the frozen chosen happened. Yep. I literally thought this is it. I'm just going to be a popsicle. <laughs> but here's another thing. I was stationed in New York state for five and a half years. Yeah. You were at drum. Yeah. Oh, I was in Utica, but I reported to drum. All right. Now when this gets bad, we all know. Almost all of New York is red except for New York City and se uh, several of the surrounding counties. Once this gets dynamic, those white trash and red trash individuals who live in that portion of New York State are probably going to handle their business. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's going to happen. That'll happen in Michigan. That'll everywhere. happen in Arkansas. It, yeah. Anywhere where you've got a rural population that's entrenched and been there for a while. Uh, I wouldn't want to be an illegal alien in Appalachia. Nope. That will not go well for you. Because <laughs> those hill people just disappear you. Okay. And ding, 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 ding. It's the same thing. The uh, the hillbillies in Arkansas, they'll just they'll just straight up disappear you. No, yep. Don't even bother trying to look for anybody that disappears up there. All right. Um, let's cover the first, this one here. We're going with illegal immigrants inside the United States. Chilling letters warn of 10-7 style attacks. What they're talking about is when Hamas attacked Israel. There's nothing surprising about the all-out invasion taking place at the U.S.-Mexico border. Biden's policy since day one guaranteed this result. But in addition to the record-setting number of illegal immigrants turning themselves over to border agents after unlawfully entering the United States, there has also been a similar and potentially more alarming surge in both the number of apprehended illegal immigrants on American terror watch lists and the number of known gotaways slipping into the United States. Now, the theory that I hear the most is, uh, there's two theories that I hear the most. One is, this is a UN army. Okay, I'm going to nip that in the bud right now. First of all, the UN can't raise, not that they won't try. The UN is not capable of raising an army that could sack the United States of America. They no. don't have the know-how. They don't have the expertise, even with our generals and our equipment. It's a lot harder than you think to manage division level forces i mean we just came up with this the division level stupid we did come up with a division division level stupid i've seen a lot of it yes the other one is all of these guys coming across the border are actually members of terror cells okay partially true quite a few of them are we know quite a few of them are that's fairly obvious now that fork splits again at the terrorists here i have a theory on that those terrorists are doing their thing elsewhere for the most part, but they're coming here to the United States for free trading grounds, free money. Mm, yeah. They all get on EBT and they send all of that money back overseas. It's a cash funnel. Yeah. I mean, that is a, uh, a way to look at it. They have safe training areas, areas like Dearborn, Michigan. Dearborn, Michigan is essentially Pakistan at this point. It's gone. Dearborn, Michigan is essentially Pakistan. We have huge areas of open land. We know there are three terrorist training camps just in Michigan alone. I've done a whole video on that in one yeah. of my zombie apocalypse right. uh, videos from back in the day. So I covered that already. I don't think the terrorists are coming here specifically to do violence. We might see a couple of acts. I would believe that we will see some acts in some <clears> of the cities as they lash out at targets that they just want to get rid of. Okay. I, I would agree. I agree with you partially with your statement. Okay. We're wargaming the, here. The only, yeah, the only thing in my opinion that, are, that goes against that hypothesis. Okay. 
is the amount of Chinese individuals showing up on our. Oh, orders. I didn't get to them yet. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. That, listen, CCP doesn't let people out of the country willy nilly. That's correct. That is correct. You don't even travel inside the country without paper, proper documentation. That's right. You have a hard time moving between certain provinces without the proper moving order and uh, documentation. Correct. So when I'm talking about the terrorists, I'm talking about the Iranians, the Yemenis, uh, the Birudis, what have you, that particular sect of terrorism, the Chinese, I don't classify them as terror. No. This article is specifying terror. The Chinese, they're definitely an organized, orderly force. They'll definitely have some sort of form of instructions. I think that forks as well. You're going to have the CCP element, which is the organized military and spies, point blank. They're going to be spies. Mm -hmm. And then China has a real opportunity right now because they've got a female problem, don't they? Yes, they do. They did that whole one child thing for decades, didn't they? Yep. They've got too many men, don't they? And that... Here, America, have a bunch of chink boys. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, can't say that. You can't say that. But uh, here's the thing here. <clears throat> Castro emptied the prisons and sent them all across the, and asylums. the ocean. And, and they, they, they got asylum here. Yeah, absolutely correct. All right. Now, when it comes to the Chinese, technically, they're not a terror organization until they take action. Correct. Because if they have the numbers, there's very, very few things more terrorizing than an active army you're fighting against. And listen, you have how, how many millions of people? They're saying there's like 22 to 32 million individuals in this country illegally. We believe the numbers are around 34 million. Yeah. That is, if you just break it down and you're like, okay, uh, how many of them are actually uh, combat effective or military serving age? I would have to say almost all of them because that's what's coming across the border. Men between the ages of 16 and 48. Well, here this uh, senior FBI executive who spoke for this article says military age men from across the globe, many from countries and regions not friendly to the United States of America. Are there any anymore? Are landing in waves on our soil by the thousands, not by splashing ashore from ship or parachuting, but rather by foot across a border that has been accurately advertised around the world as largely unprotected with ready access granted. Yep. Uh, as Town Hall watched along the Mexican border over the weekend, another group of illegals walked up to the border wall to surrender, claim asylum, and be processed. The 22 illegal immigrants included four unaccompanied children and one single adult male seen entering by the Town Hall. Those poor children will be trafficked. I am so sorry for those children. I genuinely am. It's, it's yeah. sickening and horrible, but that's it is. what's going to happen to mm -hmm. them. And listen, Deal with it. That's what's going to happen. The slavery and the, the trafficking thing, yeah. that's been going on for thousands of goddamn years. Yes, never stopped. Yeah, it never the idea stopped. That, okay, look, the first countries to outlaw slavery were white Western countries. It's just true. It's just true. Some of the Asian countries followed later. Slavery wasn't outlawed in Korea until 1948. Wow. Wow. Okay. For an example, I know slavery still goes on in Thailand. I've seen that. I know slavery still goes on in North Africa. Seen that. Wow. Yep. Okay. <sighs> and listen, we all know, like, the Marines got sent to Northern Africa. Yeah. You know, back in the 1800s to deal with that. The Barbary Coast Pirates. Yeah. It's never stopped. Yep. That is correct. And they still pick Americans off. We had an incident in, I think this is old enough that I can, I can tell without telling the actual names behind it, but a young American female was disappeared from Seattle, Washington and showed up in North Korea. Wow. As a member of a pleasure brigade. Oh, whoa. I, I can't go into more detail than that, but I am aware of an American female being kidnapped from American soil and taken to North Korea. Yep. Uh, I can't go into more detail than that. Uh, so these guys are all flooding across the border here. It's millions of, we're at 34 million at this point. That's yeah. four that's American ten, cities. That's it's 10% of our population Yeah, right now. that this This is a serious issue. Yes, and we discussed this with uh, 
another one of the episodes where we pointed out that the actual heritage population of the United States of America, which is primarily white people, just is to mm -hmm. the tune of 90%, is fine numbers-wise. Our numbers have not gone down. That's a myth. But we've got so many illegals coming into the country. And more and more, the problem becomes that it's violence. Yes. And uh, can we see this screen now? Okay. Yeah, good. I see it. Yeah, I, and this was was very distressing to me when I sent it to you. <sighs> FBI Director Ray confirms the border crisis poses major homeland security threat. DH Secretary Mayorkas. Still, we already know Mayorkas is owned. We watched that happen. Yes. In the hearing, members received confirmation of the urgent national security threat posed by the nearly one point eight million known gotaways and the rising number of individuals on the terror watch list apprehended crossing the southwest border especially as america's enemies including iran Bak, he hamas and hezbollah there are 82 separate factions in beirut alone yep that are fighting against each other okay so every, hi, they say these names because that's what makes nice headlines there's like hundreds of these and they're all crazy so uh, they have been emboldened to spread their malign influence following the October 7th terrorist attacks on our ally Israel. Ray confirmed these facts in his testimony and alluded to Chairman Green that the national security consequences of the crisis have turned every state into a border state. I know this to be true. I can't think of a single state that's not having some sort of a problem right now. And now we start to get to the heart of what we want to talk about tonight because let's go i'm gonna find this specific article where did that one go man which one the puget the puget sound there one? i found it there it is yeah and um before you uh, bring that up there uh, steve uh yeah. it was uh i was keeping an eye on the chats there uh the house uh impeached mayorkas from 214 to 213 vote we yeah. have three... he has been impeached he has been impeached. Well, the vote took place, but it ain't going to pass in the Senate. But uh, three Republicans defected and yeah. voted with the Democrats. Other than that, it was yeah, oh, yeah, vote. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that just proves we don't have two parties. We have one party. That is correct. Watch Gun Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.